Well, what's up, America? This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, today I thought I'd do a little uh, political uh, uh, update on uh, the news and the political candidates running for president. I was kind of thinking about it all uh, lately, and uh, it come to me in a dream. Uh, that uh, there's a lot of common uh, ground between uh, the politicians and the news reporting stations like the CNN and, the, uh, and the Fox Newsy Girly Channel and uh, all them other ones like that. You see, uh, over the few last few years, and I've commentated on this before, uh, news media has changed. It used to be that the news was a non-profit part of a television station and it reported the news that was its main function I see but uh, that all changed when uh, Fox News and them came on there I don't know if it was Fox News I don't know whether I blame them or not but anyways uh, that's what I heard but uh, it all changed and now the news is news and slash entertainment you see so uh, when I think about those things, it becomes clear to me by watching the news that uh, there's a little bit of a problem with uh, being uh, unbiased and just reporting the facts. You've got to have high ratings if you're going to make money and get people to pay higher dollars for the commercials. And so facts and the like uh, go out the window. So here's some uh, comparisons between the uh, political candidates for president and the uh, uh, news media outlets. Okay, all right, here we go. Donald Trump. Well, of course he's the first run uh, uh, top runner, so we got to, uh, on the Republican side, so we got to talk about him first. Donald Trump. Uh, uh, gives no, gives us solutions to ideas with no actual facts. Uh, that's compared to the news. The news does the same thing. Okay. Uh, and, and then you got your Hillary Clinton. Uh, half truths and um, innuendos and uh, switches with ever the wind goes whatever is the highest and uh, uh, most popular thing they switch to. So that's because she compares to the news in that uh, profession. Okay. Now, then you got your Ted Cruz. Now, Ted Cruz, uh, he likes guns. And uh, he wants to change a lot of things up in Washington. He wants to uh, uh, get rid of Obamacare and, uh, and, uh, and uh, put a whole bunch of new laws in the, in the place and everything like that. Okay, well the news, they want to get rid of the guns and they want to uh, put a whole bunch of new laws into place. So they the same thing right there, okay? Now we've got, uh, that's just a Ted Cruz and Trump now. Uh, okay, we've got uh, Rubio. Oh, Rubio's a really good comparison. He's a minority. Ain't nothing wrong with being a minority now, you understand. He's a minority, and on the news, you got more minorities than you do white people anymore. Okay, so there's your comparison there. All right, now, uh, next I'll be on the list will be uh, uh, John Kasich. Okay, uh, John Kasich is a uh, is, uh, comparison on the news. He's the same old Republican uh, as Ronald Reagan and all the rest of them. Same old, same old, same old, same old. When I may say old, I mean same old, same old. And uh, <clears throat> his comparison to the news is it's the same old stuff over and over again. All right. Now we've got him out of the way. Now who's left? Oh, Bernie Sanders. Okay. Bernie Sanders. Well, Bernie Sanders is a socialist. Some people say a communist. I, I don't think the man's a communist, but anyhow. A, a socialist, communist, and uh, he wants everybody to get everything for free and uh, all like that. Well, uh, the news is the same way. They want everybody to get everything for free. They don't care who pays for it. 
So there's my comparison there of uh, the news media and the politician co uh, uh, commentary and all that stuff. And uh, you see, the problem is, and uh, it's really not a very funny commentary today, the problem in America is that most everybody gets their information from the news. And the more sensational Donald Trump is, or or Bernie Sanders, or Hillary Clinton, or, or Ted Cruz, or Rubio, or John uh, Kasrick, or any of that, the more media coverage they get. It doesn't matter whether there's substance to it or not. And uh, people are drawn to that, and that's not, not the way to go. We need to have facts. We need to know what they're really running on. We need to know what the real plan is. And a lot of that comes from the questions from the news media. The news media doesn't ask those questions. They ask questions to get responses so they can see how much Donald Trump beats up on Little Rubio or something other like that. And that's just wrong. So uh, think about it, America. We need to get some things changed around here. That's it. Jim Bob's out.